Hi there, and welcome back to the Sanjay Says podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about the nature of truth, discovering truth in a choose your own adventure world. Read by red, turn the page. Sanjay's words, they pave the way. Beliefs are meant to be tested, not clung to blindly. We live in a world these days where it's commonly believed that truth is relative that you can choose the facts that you like and that you're entitled to your own version of the truth. There's something to that, but let me suggest a couple of concepts that might help you better understand what's going on and maybe make, make your next dinner party conversation a little more entertaining. First, it is completely possible for two people to disagree and yet both be right. You can get from point A to point B by turning left then right or by turning right then left. Maybe one way is faster than another or passes by your favorite drive through but fundamentally, they'll both get you where you want to go. So next time you're in disagreement with someone, open your mind to the possibility that they are also right. The enemy of knowledge isn't ignorance, it's certainty. Once you believe that your way of thinking is the only way of thinking, that is the end of learning. The purpose of beliefs is to continuously challenge them and refine them, not cling to them desperately regardless of what data is presented to you. Next time you're in a friendly disagreement and you're tempted to walk away because the other person is annoying, maybe ask them, why do you believe this to be true? And I guarantee you'll learn something. You can always walk away later. I'm not personally a fan of Donald Trump. And on several occasions, I found myself asking someone, why do you support him despite all his character flaws? And to my surprise, the answer is always related to some specific Trump policy. For example, his unstinting support of Israel or India. Trump's detractors tend to focus on character. By not blindly believing I'm right in my opinion, I learn something. The second concept is that truth isn't relative. Truth is the ability of a belief to predict something. If a belief can't be tested, then it's useless to try and determine whether it's true. Is there a God? There's no, there's no testing of that. Is there an all powerful being who created the world and controls everything? Isn't a useful belief because there's no way to use that information to predict anything. But Believing in God makes you happier can be tested. And in fact, it's true. It turns out that believing in anything, including complete rubbish, uh, makes you happier as long as you surround yourself with people who have the same belief and the belief isn't obviously wrong. For example, next year, the Toronto Maple Leafs will win the Stanley Cup. Navigating the universe of knowledge is less like a graceful ballet and more like a toddler's first steps, a little clumsy, lots of falling and getting back up and often covered in unknown stains. Our collective quest for truth is an endless comedy of errors filled with plot twists, silly misunderstandings, and occasional aha moments. Keep learning and be kind to others. They're learning too. Thanks for listening to this episode of Sanjay Says. Tune in next week for more stories about how I've messed up my life that'll help you mess up yours a little bit less. Remember, do as I say, not as I do.